Yes. Quite impossible. If so, then... Hmm, interesting indeed. I am decided. I... Say... Certainly. I am ready. Here's what I think. Me? I don't think so. I require some time to think. Saranoa. Lord Saranoa. Certainly. It is time to cast our votes. Do we reveal that it is Roland behind the mask, or do we keep his identity a secret? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. You've convinced me. I believe I can dis... You aren't wrong. I agree. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. We keep Roland's identity a secret and find another way to win Svarog's trust. Very well. Roland's secret shall remain with us and us alone. Still, it would be wise to plead our case to Svarog. To that end, I would speak with him on the morrow. Then I shall arrange an audience. In the meantime, let us consider how we might sway him to our point of view. Prince Roland's survival is a powerful secret that could sway the decisions of the other nations. But knowing they must be cautious, House Wolfort decides to keep quiet. Though still suspected of murdering Dragan, Serenoa and the others attempt negotiations with Svarog once more.
Why have you come? I thought we agreed that you were never here. Yes, but... I would know one thing, Uncle. Are your illicit purchases of salt a means to gather power? The power to defeat my... To defeat the Archduke. A grave accusation you make. Is that what you believe, my dear niece? Gustadolf will do whatever it takes to achieve his goals. If you do not fight back, your house will surely be destroyed. And so... So please allow House Wolfort to fight beside you. Together, we can stop Gustadolf. You wish for me to rely on those who were reduced to mere servants of Hyzant? We did what we must to survive, and I would do it all again for the chance to stand against Gustadolf. We made it through the Salt's Iron War just the same way, though I'm sure you're well aware. That which bends does not break. Such is House Wolfort. A lofty speech from illicit salt traders. I have heard enough. It is time you were on your way. But leave the salt. I shall take it as payment for sparing your lives. <sighs> Understood. Frederica, you may stay. No, Uncle. I am of House Wolfort now. Are you really going to let them go, my lord? They shall prove useful if they take up arms against Gustadolf, no matter the outcome. You have grown strong, Frederica. It seems none can fight what is in their blood. No. Such growth stems from her ardent youth. If Dragan were still alive, no doubt he would be the same. If it isn't tenebrous, gloomy as ever, I see. Minister Sorsley, I see you are in high spirits. And why shouldn't I be? House Wolfort is ferrying my salt as we speak. An illustrious house from the Salt Iron War trying to win my favor. It's laughable. But can they succeed, being as ignorant to the circumstances as they are? If they fail, I simply lay the blame upon them and see their house duly punished. I shall gain merit in place of money. <laughs> I did not take you for an optimist. Or have you forgotten of Exham and Camsell's suspicions? You speak as if it were my problem alone, my dear Tenebris. Do not misunderstand. It is because we are tarred with the same brush that I have come to warn you. Your dealings of late have grown, perhaps overly so. You would make an enemy of the other saints, should they notice. And would you too turn against me, Tenebris? Most certainly not. Our fates are tied. Good. Now leave me. Pray, be careful, Minister. What need have I for caution? I have never failed, nor will I ever.
Thank you for your report. Did you encounter Lord Svarog along the way? I did. He still mourns the loss of his son. Perhaps it is time he retired. He is not as young as he used to be. I heard quite the intriguing rumor there as well. They say a group looking like House Wolford was seen visiting Twinsgate. House Wolford? But why? I cannot say for certain, but it appears they had a disagreement with Lord Svarog and were forced to leave. Even more intriguing, rumor has it a masked spearsman was with them. It couldn't be. Maxwell? I killed him. I'm sure of it. But then who could that be? Apologize for speaking so rashly earlier. You need not. It was thanks to you it did not come to blows. Perhaps it is I who should apologize for bringing you here. No. I am happy to be here with you. Did something happen? We were spared from a battle thanks to Lady Frederica. My lady worries too much for her own good, but is braver than most. Svarog took the salt in exchange for our lives, so we haven't any coin to show for it. Perhaps we should have told them who I am. There are more ways than one to fill one's pockets. The salt was intended for Svarog. And Svarog received it. But we haven't the money to repay Minister Sorsley. Indeed. But had we sufficient coin, it would seem like the transaction were a success. Oh, I can see you scheming something again. I suppose schemes come with the territory of illicit trading. If no one loses out, no one complains. But where could we get the money? Our best option is to speak with the Norzelia Consortium. You mean to negotiate with Claris? Indeed. He is an avaricious man, but reliable when one needs money. You plan to ask the Consortium how to get coin for an illegal trade? Are you mad? I have no intention of disclosing why we need the money. But his dealings extend far below the surface. It is worth speaking with him. Then speak to him we shall. Anna, if you would. Our apologies on the sudden summons, Claris. Nonsense. It is my pleasure to lend an ear to any request from the famed House Wolfort. That mask! Could you be? I see. So you were in need of funds to restore your fallen house. Indeed. And we would hear any wisdom you have for us. And my wisdom you shall hear. What say you to participating in a little tournament? A tournament? Like the one in Glenbrook? Something like that. Though this one is not known to the masses. Aristocrats, merchants, and the like from every nation gather to watch the strongest compete. An illegal tourney, no doubt, involving befitting sums of money. But of course, Unfortunately, one of the entrants has forfeited his seat. You must forgive me, but would that masked gentleman by any chance be the revered Sir Maxwell? I am. Ah, just as I suspected. You made quite a name for yourself in Glenbrook's tournaments. I am sure the audience would rejoice to see a true hero in the ring. Rest assured, that you would also receive a handsome reward for entering. What say you? What else can you tell us about this tournament, aside from its illegal nature? 
a sharp man you are. Unlike Glenbrook's mock battles, the ones here are true. Nothing is guaranteed. So entrants put their very lives on the line in this arena. And I shall enter regardless. This is my fault. I must fight. <sighs> very well. But we fight beside you. We have a deal. Oh, how the crowd will rejoice seeing House Wolffort compete. It is my utmost pleasure to announce our next match, one that far surpasses even my wildest dreams. In one corner, we have a legendary warrior whose name is known in every corner of the realm. Please welcome the Dawn Spear, Maxwell. In the other corner, we have our reigning champion, the Bounty Hunter and famed hero Spain, Rufus! Oh, I heard I'd be facing Maxwell, but didn't know he'd be bringing some familiar faces. I hope you whelps are ready for a rematch! Let the battle of the century begin! Defeat is not an option. This is far from your average tournament. We must pay careful attention to who attacks us and from where. Let's go. <laughs> so, Don Spear, what have you got? I want to see what you're capable of. Save your breath, then. You'll need it when you're screaming for mercy at the end of my blade. Ha! Who's next? Die, you bastard! Your orders? Allow me. Ha! Charge! My turn! Really, Maxwell? No matter. Once you're dead, I'll still have both the money and the fame. Take that! <laughs> Did you see that? Good try! There is no mercy on the battlefield. We make it up here. Here I come. A wasted effort. Cool heads shall prevail. Your wounds are here. My thanks. I fight for peace. Blame, <sighs> heed my call. <gasps> Defeat is not an option. Oh, they ain't bad. Bleed! Ah! 
I will end this. Ha! Sound strike. It's over. I shall try my level best. I won't lose! It ends here! Uh. Damn it! That's twice now Wolfort's gotten the better of me! Be gone! This battle is ours! Cool heads shall prevail. Be at ease. Much appreciated. I will end this. Flames, heed my call! And the victor is... Team Maxwell! The legends of the Dawn Spear were true after all. A round of applause for our masked victor. I did it, Master. Oh ho ho! A truly exhilarating show you put on, my friends. You almost wouldn't believe Glenbrook's been conquered. Taking a look around here. It is in our nature to seek that which amuses us. Especially in dark times like these. Just so. And it is thanks to that very nature I can reward you so handsomely for joining the tourney. This is much more than we agreed upon. Indeed. But this is an illicit arena. And as such... I'd be loath for others to find out about it. I see. Then we accept this with a promise to keep your secret. And the secret of Maxwell's survival among ourselves. It is always a pleasure to see the prowess of House Wolfort. I hope to do business with you again in the future. Indeed. If such an opportunity arises. Now we can report back to Minister Sorsley, money in hand. Let us return to House End. Serenoa delivers the salt to Svarog, a powerful minister of Esfrost, and entreats him for aid. Svarog refuses, but spares their lives in exchange for the salt. They despair, unsure of what may come of their failed transaction, until Claris of the Norzelia Consortium offers them hope. For a valiant display in his underground arena, they receive more than needed for the salt. Gustadolf's power grows greater by the day, but House Wolfort is not idle in the meantime. They look to strengthen their own forces, slowly but surely. After seeing the illicit salt to Esfrost, Serenoa makes haste to Hyzant. The Holy One has invited both them and Sorsley End to the palace.
Lord Serenor Wolfort. We are pleased to have you in the capital. Well met. Are you attendant to the Holy One? I do have that honor, yes. I am afraid preparations for your audience are still underway. Pray wait a while longer. Very well. There is no rush. Your patience is appreciated. We shall find you once we are ready. We should take this chance to see the city. We still do not know why we were summoned. Rumors, fickle as they may be, may help us steel ourselves for what is ahead. Somehow, I doubt that the commoners are privy to the thoughts of the goddess. Still, it would do us well to acquaint ourselves with their subjects. For the sake of our budding relationship with Hyzant, if nothing else. I agree. Then shall we split up to cover the most ground? I have a mind to visit the source. As you wish. Once we have finished, let us return here to share what we have learned. This country is quite... pleasant, isn't it? Not a dour face in sight. Quite the opposite, in fact. To see their smiles, you would think that inequity, envy, and jealousy were things of fairy tales. A well-governed populace is a happy populace. Or so they say. Tis an example we could learn from, methinks. If I may speak plainly, I find it somewhat unsettling. Unsettling? How so? Smiles do not always show joy. Is it truly possible to sate the wishes of every woman and man? Are you implying something nefarious is behind all this? Not necessarily. However, I was taught that for every laugh, somewhere a tear is shed. This country was not built without its share of sacrifice. Of that, I am certain. I understand your hesitation, Anna, but I think it is unfounded. A country who cares for its citizens is cared for in turn. It needn't be any more complex than that. So, did you discover aught of value? We did. The rumor on everyone's lips is that Minister Sorsley has brought House Wolfort to heal. <sighs> News travels faster than I would expect. That may very well be the reason for our audience. If so, then the time may soon be upon us to decide if we are loyal to Hyzant or otherwise. I will wander the city a little longer. I shall return soon. It's as we feared, milady. None but Hyzantians can enter the source. I see. I would have liked to see where my mother was raised, and where she spent her final days. Her final days? She died here? Many years ago. I know little else of the circumstances of her passing. I thought she escaped this thrice forsaken place. She did. She fled during the chaos of a Rosellan uprising in the midst of the Salt Iron War. It was then that she met my father, the former Archduke. And from their union I was born, a daughter of Esfrost. Then how'd she... No. Was she captured? In a way, yes. Esfrost was forced to surrender her, or take responsibility for the war's outbreak. And then... well... What a damned farce. I was lonely and heartbroken, but the pendant she left me shone the way through my darkest days. Can't tell you how sorry I am. And dark days there were. Esfrost was her home, but there were those who would not let her forget her ancestry. That she was able to ignore her detractors speaks to the strength of her character. That she excelled in her studies does even more so. You flatter me, Gila. I would never presume to do such a thing.
My lord, I kept your better half safe for you. Thank you, Eridor. Did you learn aught of interest? We did. It seems all members of the Saintly Seven have gathered at the palace. All of them? Could that have something to do with us? Perhaps, though it certainly bodes ill. In any case, it is clear that we are expected to honor the Hierophant's request for an audience. Demand may be a better word to use. Then perhaps we should return before the attendant comes to seek us out.